Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to trace an image in GIMP. And instead of doing this by hand, I'm just going to show you a really fast way to make your images look like they're made vector instead of a regular image. So here I've got an image. This is my, uh, my headshot. I've opened it up in GIMP. And the first thing I want to do is kind of start flattening the colors a little bit while making the lines look darker. To do this, I'm going to apply a filter. And this is the artistic cartoon filter. And grab the uh, move button here in the lower right. I'm just going to go over to the side of my head so I can kind of see how that line looks. And what you really want to do is push this radius all the way up, but keep the black all the way down. You'll notice as soon as the black goes up even once, some parts of my face become really distorted with these black dots. So I'm going to keep it all the way down to zero and say OK. So now that that's done, uh, we can see the effect of this by going to the Undo tab and cycling between the two images. What I'm going to do is begin smoothing out some of these shades in my skin. So Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. And uh, we can go pretty extreme with this because, again, we're not going to want a lot of this detail in the, uh, the final image. So I'm going to set this to 20 and say OK. And one of the last steps is to go Color, Posturize, and this is going to sort of crush the number of colors in here. And this is really where that vector look starts coming in. I'm going to bring this up to either like four or five. Start getting some more lifelike hues back in here. Say OK. Now I really don't like that bright spot on my forehead, so I'm going to select the color dropper, select this flattened color that it's created on the rest of my face, and begin painting in what I don't want to see anymore. Now that color is a little bit dark. So I'm going to click here on the, uh, the color palette and bring the brightness up just a little bit. And you can see the before and after colors there. So we can select the paint bucket and just click any one of the color we want to change and it will automatically change everything in the image that that's color. So you can get pretty artistic with this, make it green or blue or whatever you want and it's pretty easy to do with the paint bucket because you've crushed all of the colors so you just click in a general area and it will basically recolor your image for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to trace images in GIMP really quickly. I'm Josiah Ray.